Hi, I'm Darren Tillman, president of PowerFlow Systems here in Daytona Beach, Florida, with a big update for all of our Super Cub uh, customers that we've been patiently waiting for the exhaust system. What you have here is our very first installation uh, on a PA-18, and we're gonna go show uh, some of the features and point out how it uh, installs in the aircraft. And we wanna thank you very much for all of your patience as it's been a long time coming for all of us. Hi, I'm standing here with uh, PowerFlow's first production model of the leading edge tuned exhaust system for the uh, PA-18. This happens to be a PA-18 alpha model uh, with 160 horse conversion. Um, it has uh, the golden color, as you can see here, very limited edition in about 20 minutes that will disappear. Uh, this is all built by us here in Daytona Beach. I wanna show you a couple things about it. <clears throat> uh, we did do, um, a number of minor adjustments to what uh, was produced by Leading Edge versus what we're going to be producing um, with uh, our production and quality in mind. Um, here, taking you through it, this has the option for two different cold air sources, one of them being the front right baffle or, or the rear right baffle over here. The aircraft's original baffle, I'm going to pivot so you can come in here. Uh, the original cold air source is right here. And as you can see, we made the choice to put scat tubing in there and it's routing all the way around and it enters the back left side of the shroud. So you've got air coming from the bottom left and from the top right. And there's an output over here. This is an auxiliary output for if you have a um, rear seat or a secondary uh, heater um, need. Um, if you don't, there's a cap it's going to come with. This standalone device, that's the carburetor heat. So it's designed to be detachable, of course, and it feeds right in. Now, in the air box itself, that the way the air box is coming out, it's sort of an awkward angle. It's going to get too close to this tailpipe. So we're going to provide a 90 degree fitting that simply hose clamps on and that allows us to have a clean path straight in without a bunch of scat going in weird loops. Uh, come on around. This has the optional longer tailpipe. Uh, this is a night. It's called the 19.5. It's 19 and a half inches in total length. Part of the reason this particular airplane has a belly pod. And the uh, owner specifically requested that we help him out. His original tailpipe came out to around here. And it was, of course, coating everything with soot. And uh, this is a, a good thing for him. Come on around. On this side, uh, it's being set up for doing a dynamic prop balance. That's obviously not part of the exhaust. That's part of what we do during an installation. Um, you can see... The great lengths we went to for keeping the right tune length. Uh, there's not a lot of clearance. It's really tight to this support rod here. We actually put a little heat shield on it just to give it a little extra safety margin. Here's that cold air source coming from that front right, coming through. We've got a Adel um, clamps in here. And you can see it coming into the shroud there. The shroud is made of aluminum, just like Leading Edge was doing it. Uh, this is, is almost identical to Leading Edge's original design. We did want to give ourselves as much clearance as possible to the firewall without coming too far forward and running into anything on the accessory section. That's the, the compromise right there. So that's the, that is the tuned exhaust system as you see it there. <laughs> 